Yo, what's goody? Uh, my name's Marco and I screen print stunt. And uh, today we're just gonna go over how to screen print a skateboard, um, top and bottom, you know, the full shebang. So uh, in today's video, we have this uh, board I printed for CCS. Um, big ups, CCS, they're, they're fucking awesome. So they're great. Um, but uh, yeah, I did a guitar just cause Skateboarding needs more guitars. There's a lack of them, and uh, they're kind of similar in a way. You know, very, if you look into it, very, very similar. But um, yeah, before the board, first thing you need is a screen, right? You gotta get a screen because without it, you got no image. So um, I made this screen, and um, the good thing about it is the tension. You kind of need a looser kind of tension on your mesh. That way, you're, uh, you know, you make full contact with, you know, the curvature of the board, and you know, the wheel wells, you know, little divots in there, whatever. But um, if you don't want to make a screen or really don't, you know, have the capability to, and I don't know, you, you have a screen already or, you know, you're willing to sacrifice, what you could do and what I would do and have done is uh, you print, you know, you, you print out your artwork, you put it on your screen, you expose it. And then when, uh, when, when you get ready to print, you're going to put uh, two little slits on either side of your screen um, and that'll kind of give you you know your looser kind of mesh that you want so uh, that's that's what I would do but for this time around I just did a homemade screen similar to this one so um, yeah just got the mesh just the uh, right th just the right tension you need so um, once you get your screens ready you would start with um, your top ply if you if you have a top ply um, I wanted to do a top ply just because they're cool, you know, everyone loves good top ply, so. Uh, yeah, I did the top ply first, only because if you were to do your bottom ply, you know, you might fuck up the bottom on your platen. So I would do the, the, uh, the top ply first and then your bottom, so. I first put down the white and then line my blue up to that. That way, you know, the trap that I made is, um, you know, no negative space, there's no, uh, no, no holes or whatever. Um, but once you get to the bottom, I would start with a white base layer, or at least I did for this graphic. It's white, red, and black. So I made my white first, and um, I used water-based ink, and that's good because it dries quick. And uh, I did like 30 boards for CCS, so it probably took me about two days. And um, yeah, it just it's just easier to work with, and it dries quicker. So um, that's why I chose water-based. But uh, you could use like enamel. I've used enamel before, um, but it takes like two, two days to dry. It's so goddamn long. So I try to avoid, and it smells, it smells so, it smells so fucking bad, but uh, um, yeah, just water-based. It's easier. Um, but I would put my white down and then line my red up to that. And then last and not least, the black. That's your uh, details. That's your, you know, the trap. It traps your white in. It keeps everything, you know, up to snuff, I guess. But uh, yeah, once you get the boards all, all ready to go, probably takes like a, maybe like a full day or two to completely dry, make sure the ink is cured. The one thing that I would suggest if you were to do skateboard, you know, if you're gonna print them, it would be, uh, you know, in your best benefit to make one of these. This is an old skateboard that I just cut in two and uh, I sandwich a squeegee in between. And uh, it just helps, you know, get the, uh, the curve where you need it. Yeah, this, this is a big help. So I found a YouTube video about this. Um, I don't own this, so take a whack at it. And uh, it's pretty damn cool, so yeah. That's what I use for that. And um, I think that about darn sums it up. Um, thank you, CCS, for letting me print these boards. And um, yeah, I hope to make kind of like more of these videos, give you like, uh, you know, inside scoop of, you know, how to, how to, how to screen print and uh, the inner workings, I guess, more behind the scenes and stuff. That would be really cool. Um, but yeah, thanks. Thanks for watching, yo.